All right, everyone, welcome back to TLT Treasures in a gigantic haul video. I've been off for almost three, four weeks, um, not creating any videos. And this is a lot of what I've gotten that you guys have not seen. So we're going to start over here. I got some vintage wooden shoes. Hold on a minute. Let me get it back. Oh, look at those. I'm trying to get some stuff off the chair so I can sit down. These were two dollars at the St. Vincent de Paul. They were meant to hang up. I just like the age and the workmanship done on them. This is a blue sky fairy house. It was originally $14.99 at the Goodwill and I got it on the half off days. I have a little candle lamp in there right now you can't quite see but um you can also put an electric light in there i'm probably going to keep this one for myself i really like this a lot i came across four of these cheer plates the, they're hallmark um and they're redware actually and then they just say cheers in different language there's four of them they were a dollar a piece An amber like a diamond cut compote this is a puppy dog planter it's USA pottery marked on the bottom and I know that that peacock plate is more modern um, but it just was so pretty I couldn't pass it up. It was just a couple dollars. Got an amber fairy lamp. My family loves those really big large mugs to make hot chocolate in, so I got those. Got some vintage cat book ends. And then this is a very large brown drip ceramic hen on a nest. I also got a mini little hen on a nest. I just sold one about this size not long ago. Um, and then let's go back over here. The mugs. Um, this is a Mara mug. I paid 99 cents for it. It's a really, really pretty nice mug. Cool handle. All the other mugs I think were like 50 cents. This is one of those stacking mugs. Um, and because my Goodwill does their mugs for 50 cents, I pick them up whenever I can, even if I don't find them in a set, because sometimes people drop one or break one of their set and they're looking for just one to replace it. If I can find the whole set, that's great. They can sell, um, for $30 and up, but you can sometimes sell the single ones for around eight or $10. This is a Ray Dunn thing. Happy is it Happy Spring? Yeah, Happy Spring um, mug. I thought that was really cute. And then um, this bell was 50 cents. I just liked the colors, um, how it was made. Oh, it says 99, but it was half off. Um, this is a very delicate porcelain cup and saucer has the moriage or moriage or however you want to say it, that raised painting dots on it right there. I don't know, it's not focusing much better. Um, the plate is really nicely well done also. I got this little, I don't know, trinket dish, spoon rest, tea bag holder. Kind of whatever you want it to be. It's made in Italy. But this mug was hysterical. It has the birds, right? It has all the... It's identifying all the different birds, but it's called a foul language. <laughs> I'll let that speak for itself. I also found in the rooster chicken hen category some salt and pepper shakers. Not sure why the tops come off, but these tops do come off. Um, I found this and I thought maybe it was a reproduction, but it did have a little bit of a glow to it. And I brought it home and sure enough, it is uranium glass. It glows. 
And it has, I'm not sure if they're daffodils or daisies, um, but really cute. And then these are Inesco. Uh, you can see they've got a little bit of that lace, kind of like Dresden, but they're Inesco. There's a boy and a girl. They were just a couple dollars a piece. I think I paid two fifty for this. Um, well, the name just went out of my head, but those of you, I think they're they start with a C. <laughs> um, they sell for about forty dollars. Cordly, cord, cordly, cordy, cordy dolls. There you go. I'll get it. Cordy dolls um, or cordy head figurines, cordy figurines in total. So, um, yeah, that was like two fifty, and they sell for around 40 I couldn't find any chips or cracks on her. Make sure I put her down nicely. Um, give you a better glimpse of the bookends. They're really cute ceramic cats. They have the lovely 70s orange felt on the bottom. And then I got an array of different um, Reuven Nouveau vases. Some of them have the stickers on them from Canada. Some of them do not. These are all different hand-painted vases. I've had plates, ashtrays, um, little trinket dishes. And I found this one in blue. I'm not sure if this is a Reuven Nouveau. It does look like it, but it is also a little different. So, um, but I know for sure the three, the three pink ones are. Then I also found this really nice Art Nouveau. Um, you can see the work on there. Um, frosted pink. I just call it an apothecary jar. Um, you could probably put it in your bathroom to hold like Q-tips or whatever. Really nice and pulley green vase. I really like the twisted stems on the bottom. This one had no markings, but you can definitely tell it's hand-painted. I just liked it. I thought it was pretty. It was well done. It had some kind of identifi identification tag at one point in time. Um, that's a Taylor Smith Taylor plate in the background. This is an A. Belkari. I usually don't pick up figurines, um, but this one is also a music box and it was only five dollars and they sell for around 40. and then trying to keep up with the brass this is very heavy compared to some of the other brass and i really liked how the red um, just shone off in there it was just very very pretty the different um, carvings in there. So I thought that was really pretty. Red always catches my eye. And speaking of red, I found this Italian cut glass. It's made in Italy. Real pretty um, decanter and only five cordials, not six, but still they're all in really nice shape. Um, that was eight dollars for the whole set. Um, let's see, over here we have a Lusterware creamer has a mark on the bottom. I also have a parrot creamer made in Japan, I believe. This one's really fun. It is a tin bank. They don't resell for a ton, but um, I think it was only 50 cents. It's got a little storage compartment down here, and then you put your money up on top. It's really cute, hand-painted, like bohemian glass vase just thought the hand painting work on it was done very nicely. This is an Italian folk art pottery piece. I did pay up for it. It was $3. Um, they don't resell for a ton. I've seen some between 5 and 10 So I'll try and at least double or triple my money. This is a Mary Bells. I had one before, and if you remember that video, it was all broken here, and I hadn't noticed, but this one isn't broken. Let's so pick her up. Um, this is a Johansson piece. It's um, He does a lot of these different carvings in the back. You can see it's 
etched in there. I think I had a polar bear one before. They resell pretty well also. I found some vintage angels. Some of this stuff I got before Christmas and I used it um, in my Christmas display. I thought these were just adorable. And uh, let's see over here. This was brand new in the box. It's a diffuser. Obviously, it's modern. Um, but it was only, I think, $3.99. And you can resell these on Facebook Marketplace. I use them in my house. Um, but if you see them, they're brand new in the box. They're worth picking up um, if you can get them at the right price. This find, I was so excited to find. It is a marked... Murano piece. I'm trying to see if I can get it under the light so you can see. It is etched in the bottom Murano. It had a Murano sticker on it. Um, I did pay up for it. This is the most expensive thing on the table. I paid $9.99 for that. I uh, found it a little bit before Christmas, so I've been enjoying it. These were really nice stone um, tea light holders. I'm like, oh, look at those nice mid-century modern lines. And I got them home, and I was able to take the sticker off, and I noticed some engraving, and it says Party Light on the bottom. But I don't care. They still have really nice lines. They weren't that expensive, and I think they will sell as decor pieces. This is a unique bunny piece. A nice planter. It has a little bit of a chip, you can see right there. Um, but it was under $3, and for that amount... Um, I was willing to take the risk on it. Uh, let's see what else we have going on here. For some reason, I pick up these little seashell animals whenever I find them. They aren't the biggest sellers, but they're cute, and I don't want to see them go to the landfill. Um, my figurine area. I have sold one like this. I believe it was in gray. This one does not have any markings, um, but these Whippet... Borzoil dogs sell pretty well if you can find them. Um, this is a little boxer. Boxer people love their boxers. I always pick up boxer figurines when I can. I'm not sure if this is a left in an art mark. I can't quite make that out right now. This is a soapstone carved hippo. It is made in Africa, but it's sold at Bush Gardens, but it does have nice resale value. So I went ahead and um, picked that up. It is very heavy. Um, not much of a trinket area inside. But he was cute. Somebody looking for a house hippo would link him. Another Fenton um, shoe. I don't know what that is on there. I'll have to scrub that off. Another Fenton shoe with the cat. I just got an Amberina one not long ago. I also found this was adorable. It's a little two Eskimos. He's got a little fish on the front of their canoe. It's just a little pottery piece. It's unmarked. And I also got um, a ceramic baby booty. Again, unmarked. It was a dollar. I couldn't find any when I was searching for them online with this little um, kind of raised crown. Lucite candles. Don't burn them. But if you find them, they were 50 cents a piece and they sell 20 to $30 for the pair. Um, I just sold another trinket box, very similar to this one. So I pick these up if they're at the right price whenever I can find them. Uh, um, this is a... Um, the little labels in here. Can you focus, camera? Focus. It's a Saint, oh, it says St. Clair. It's a John St. Clair piece. They're toothpick holders. And this one, I couldn't find any sold comps, but this one listed on eBay. There's only one more listed at a little bit over $30. So, and it's marked on the bottom, St. Clair. Uh-oh. Won't do any good if I break it. These have me a little stumped. They were 99 cents a piece. You do fill them up with something because this one has a cork in it. But they had lots of holes. So at first I thought maybe a pin holder, but then why would you need to fill it? And then I thought maybe sometimes they do powdered sugar on these. Why you'd need two of them, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just 
so salt and pepper can come out really fast. So if you have any ideas, leave me a comment below. This is a cute little trinket box. The only other one I found was a clear glass one, but I like it in the pink. A little hand-blown bird. With an applied tail. I thought that was really cute. And then I got these two Lennox dolphins. I didn't know Lennox did wood dolphins, but they do. That's a carved wood dolphin. And this one is just really pretty. Let's see. Got everything there. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Half the time when I do these videos, I miss things. Carnival glass. Um, just a blue candy dish. I call these church steeple candy dish because they remind me of church steeples. Miniature cream and sugar. It's a milk glass, but it's cut milk glass. The miniature hen on a nest. Um, this little divided trinket tray I thought was really cute. Um, it is hand enameled. I forgot where it was from, um, but it has all the markings on the bottom. Oh, last one. I don't want to forget this. This I almost left behind because I didn't have really good luck selling my big Fenton basket, which I paid $10 for a pink opaline large Fenton basket and only resold it for $20. This one looked like a Fenton basket, but I thought I've never seen a small Fenton basket like this. And of course the price tag was on the bottom covering everything up and it wasn't until I got it home I took the price tag off and it is Fenton. It's Fenton and it's Mark 8 on the bottom. The handle looks a little wonky but I don't think that matters. All the comps I could find, there were two comps, one sold for $69 and the other one sold for $70. This glows so it's uranium and I guess there is a whole ba whole market of miniature Fenton baskets, but this one in particular brings a really good amount of money. The other ones sell anywhere between $10 and $30. The only other one, if you find it, it's black with a pink crest is what it's called. So this bottom part is all black, and then this is pink up here and pink over there, and it sells for over $100. So don't forget to look at the small stuff. Sometimes you can find a large treasure. And the last thing I think that's on my table is this lovely carved figure. We just can't figure out what it is. I thought maybe it was a stylized polar bear, but it has a really long snout to be a polar bear. And at first I thought maybe it was broken off, like it was an anteater, but no, it's that's exactly where it's supposed to be. So we, we're not sure. If you have any idea what you think this animal might be, leave me a comment below. And finally, last but not least, I found a inlaid. This is not my style at all, but usually if something is metal or inlaid or etched, I usually pick it up. This one was marked on the back, and I found out, um, I think I paid a dollar for it. It resells between, oh, I have to remember, my brain's failing. I thought between $20 and $30, so not a bad return. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, share it. Um, if there's any way I can improve them, give me a comment down below. And happy treasure hunting, everybody. I hope to see you soon with another haul video.